In this example, we're dealing with a coagulation treatment plant or a conventional drinking water treatment plant, coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, with a flow rate of 0.5 meters cubed per second. So we're going to define that over here as our Q, 0.5 meters cubed per second. Dosing alum at 23 milligrams per liter. We're going to call that C1N. No other chemicals are being added, but the raw water suspended solids does have a concentration of 37 milligrams per liter. We'll call that C2N. And the effluent suspended solids concentration is 12 milligrams per liter. We'll call that C out. And then we're asked to find the mass of sludge that must be disposed of each day. What this boils down to is a fairly straightforward mass balance where we can calculate the mass of sludge knowing the mass coming in and the mass going out of the treatment plant. So here we have our Q, our C1, our C2 coming in, two inputs of uh, mass, and um, one output of mass on the right, and then the rest of the mass has to be that sludge coming out of the bottom of the sedimentation basin, or perhaps out of the filters. We write this as a mass balance mass in has to equal mass out plus accumulation but we're assuming a steady state process here and it's pretty safe to assume steady state at most drinking water treatment plants at least for design calculations so uh, we simply have mass in plus or equals mass out we write that in terms of our variables our flow rate times the concentration one coming in, flow rate times the second concentration coming in on the left side, and then QC out, the effluent being accounted for here, plus the sludge. And then we rearrange the mass of the sludge equals Q times each of these concentrations added and subtracted. Again, Q is common among all the terms, so we can simply have C1 plus C2 minus C out and now we're ready to plug in numbers. 0 0.5, 23, plus 37 minus 12. Um, those are milligrams per liter, and the 0.5 was a flow rate in meters cubed per second. And I want to point out that I am including the units here while I do my math. And that's helpful because it, it makes me realize that the units are not very compatible in this case. Meters cubed per second times a milligram per liter. So we need to convert the liters to meters cubed, or vice versa. And we convert the uh, seconds to days. And we, lar we end up with a very large number for the milligrams per day. So let's convert that to something more practical, uh, kilograms per day. And we end up with 2,074 kilograms per day. So that's two metric tons. Of sludge. This is, must be a pretty big plant. That's a lot of sludge, or that this is a lot of solids. This is just the solids, not the water mass leaving this the system. Um, but it is the way it happens at a real plant because you have a lot of flow and you need a very big lagoon to handle all of that sludge or some kind of uh, sedimentation or a thickener. Solids are an important aspect of a drinking water treatment plant, which sometimes gets overlooked, but we do have to account for the solids in all of our design.